oh, those Bernie Mac checks must have dried up or like from a job 20 years ago when I was a 12 year old. Yeah, like, duh. Mm. Cause <laughs> um, we think there's, we think the residuals are still coming through though. I mean, they do, but it's not, we weren't, yeah. I wasn't, listen, if I was on friends making a million dollars an episode, yes, those residual checks would still be very nice. But as time goes on, they get smaller and smaller every year. You're not making the same amount that you were when the show was current per episode. Right. So as someone who was just a kid, um, don't get me wrong, still making good money. Mm -hmm. But 20 years later, those checks are not sustainable for a living. Um, the industry being as fickle as it is, you can't count on any job to last or even to book a job. So over the years, I have done regular nine to fives. Um, oh, wow. I owned an ice cream shop for wow. three years when I was a teenager. Wow. Um, and I funded that with my own money. Um, I taught gymnastics to kids where I was making uh, like $11, $12 an hour. So I've done that. Wow. Um, but if I can find a way to make enough to buy a home, from the comfort and safety of my own living room, why wouldn't I do that? Come on now, Vanessa. <laughs> Come on, Vanessa. Hold up now, because this is the thing. Th these are the things that I don't like um, when it comes to, you know, certain platforms like the OF platform and stuff like that, because, you know, in my personal opinion, it allows people to be very disingenuous with the opportunities that they have. And a lot of people act like, oh, you know, my back is against the wall and this is my only option to make ends meet, which we all know is not true. You see, if you would have just, if, if this interview just went in a way of her saying, you know, this is what I want to do. You know, I like doing this. It, it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel whatever the case is. And this is exactly why I'm doing this because I love it. I love the return. I love the attention in that way. I love that people no longer see me as a little girl. Like if she went down the vein of doing this because this is what she wants to do and this is what, you know, um, you know, a, a desire of hers, we could have had an entirely different conversation. But to blame the fact that you are not making a certain amount of money and try to act like, oh, you only doing this because you have to do it again is very disingenuous. This is just my personal opinion. It comes across very disingenuous because, you know, this is also telling younger girls that, yeah, when your back is against the wall, you know, you might as well do this. And to be honest, it's just because this is an easier route than having to, you know, uh, stand hard in the paint and try to really figure it out. It, this is just an easier option than trying to, you know, having to go to auditions and try and do this and do that and, and really be committed to that thing that sometimes you, you might see two, three, four years before you get a return. That this is an easier route. It's the same exact thing of, of being, you know, somebody who's in the streets, right? Where they work a regular job and have to build up and then try to be an entrepreneur, whatever the case is, as to where just going that that avenue, that is just an easier route. Not saying it's the easiest, not saying that everybody who goes onto the OF platform or even people who are in the streets that it's just easy and they just make it like that. No, but it is a different come up than having to, uh, you know, go by the book and try to, you know, really work hard and, and make things um, happen the, um, in, in, the, in the pathway of starting from scratch, starting from the ground up, the legitimate, the legitimized way. Again, I have to say it's very disingenuous. You know, she's saying that she owned, um, you know, she was making a lot of money as a kid. She owned um, an ice cream shop. She helped kids with gymnastics. She worked a regular nine to five. What about furthering your, your, your knowledge in certain aspects and finding a different career if that's the case? 
right? If you see that, you know, there's not a lot of longevity or you're having a hard time to be an actress, what about like all the millions of different career paths that you could have gone down? That's number one, okay? There's teach, teacher, doctor, lawyer. Like, there's so many different, at nurse. There's so many different aspects that you can go down and try to pursue a career if it was just, you're, you're thinking about, resi- um, you know, residual income or you're thinking about income. You can be a real estate agent, you know, in these days, you know, you could be um, a, a, an influencer on social media. Like there's so many different avenues. Just say this is what you wanted to do. Just say that. Don't act like, again, like I said, like your back was against the wall and you just didn't have no choice. And, you know, this is the only thing that you could do. And this is the only way you'd be able to, you know, make money or buy a house because that is not true. And we all know that's not true. I could even see, you know, what's mind boggling to me is that, yes, it may be may have been difficult after that show had its own run or whatever the case is. But there's so many places out there or people out there. I've seen people, you know, how many people reach out to get on shows like on 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 50 cent shows like Power and Canaan. Like there's so many people who, you know, they they align themselves in, in the places that they really want to be. Just say that you did not want to do that anymore. You didn't want to be in no Tyler Perry movie or Tubi movie. You didn't want to do none of the above. You just wanted to do this because it's what you wanted to do. Don't blame anything else. Like, to me, again, it, it comes out very disingenuous. And also, it is telling the younger women that have maybe looked up to you from before that, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. Whenever my, my back is against the wall, I'm going to do the same thing that you're doing because, you know, um, that's just the easiest way or the only way. And it's not. It's not, you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, we know her as Vanessa <laughs> from, um, from Bernie Mac show. And, you know, she was a younger girl. Obviously she's a grown up now. Like, you know, that was uh, so long ago, but the, the wholesome image that was painted is, is now like, wow. Like, you know, we thought you were this and it just goes to show that what she's saying is not, um, you know, a hundred percent up. It's not honest. Um, or 100% true, again, just in my humble opinion, because the fact that this made headlines is because she is known. It's because of her notoriety. It's because people know who she is by just looking at her. So the fact that people know who she is by just looking at her means that she could have started a brand and sold clothes and people would buy it because they know who she is. She could have teamed up with other brands. And again, like I said, um, led the the influencer lifestyle where she's, you know, uh, showcasing different hair products and nail products and whatever the case is, you know, teamed up to get on certain TV shows or whatever the case. It would have worked because, again, people know her. We know her. We who watch the show know who this is. So again, to paint the image that, you know, it wasn't enough or whatever the case is, which in, fine, the show was a long time ago. Maybe the residual checks have changed. Cool, no problem. But again, to act as though you were against the wall and you made this, this decision and are trying to, you know, place blame on some, some other things other than this is just what you wanted to do. I just want people to just, you know, come with the real. Be real, be honest. Just say what it is. That way, when other people see that, they're not looking, um, you know, to make the same excuses that you're making. They understand that that was an actual just decision that was made and that's it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.